The first time that I came to the Texas Medical Center, I remember just um, getting off of the train and just looking up and being like, I feel like I'm in a city, like a city of hospitals. It feels like a downtown of medicine with restaurants, uh, many, many hospitals, uh, even their own uh, train system and a beautiful park just, just across the street, which is Herman Park. I was also surprised at how close the hospitals are together. We're not the only training center here and I could literally look out the window from one hospital and see the next. If you're at one hospital and you know, you're taking call and you need to go travel to the next one, it's literally a five minute walk. So I was very overwhelmed at the beginning, but I think practically it has a very uh, nice aspect to it. I was absolutely seduced by the legacy of Baylor, the roots of where it came from, and actually got pretty into the history of the medical center too and how it has grown tremendously over the last half decade or so. Is a little bit intimidating, I would say, too. Um, you know, you have these, I guess, like giants in the field, um, these powerhouses in medicine, um, and they're all just sitting right here at your fingertips, and you have the opportunity to train here. There's nothing that we read about that we aren't going to see. I think that's fantastic. It's really difficult as a medical student, I think, to read about things and then learn about concepts, but not be exposed to those things or those concepts. So here in the medical center, especially in Peds, things that we read about that were rare, uh, we see on a pretty Normal basis. There's a lot of collaboration uh, going on among the institutions in terms of research. Uh, we share the library and many resources um, and it's great uh, having colleagues from other programs. One of the biggest things I was looking for is a place that had a diverse patient population. You have a county hospital, you've got a private hospital, you've got the VA, so you have the, a fairly wide range of patients that you're going to be serving. You'll be amazed how different patients are. Uh, from cult different cultural backgrounds, also how the diseases present differently from one health system to other. Patients from you know our county hospitals who have unfortunately not had access to care for potentially their entire lives, um, to you know the privilege of taking care of veterans at the VA hospital, to uh, being able to take care of uh, sometimes patients who have traveled internationally. Uh, you know, if I wasn't training in such a large medical center, I don't know how I would have seen that. Coming in during the COVID epidemic, you really see how. Uh, it's taking charge and uh, leading uh, not just at a hospital response but a community response and it's really important for me to be a part of that and not just uh, go out to a single hospital and learn how to operate but really learn how to be part of a, a medical community. If you're a person who can grab opportunity, this is the place to be.